Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorefield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15. Today I'm going to be showing you a tool that has been around online for a few years now. It's called Eyewitness and this has been created by the University of Southern California with the Shoah Foundation. Eyewitness is a location where you can view, create, and be involved with video eyewitness testimony clips of over 1,500 different video testimonies from Holocaust victims, video testimonies, multimedia activities, digital resources, and you can watch the testimonies of different people involved in Holocaust of all different types, but specifically the Jewish Holocaust during World War II. So let me briefly show you what Eyewitness has available for you. First off, on the main screen, they continuously have what is Eyewitness, featured educators, activities, their Eyewitness at this time, they have a video challenge launched, all different types of things that you can do. Now, if you're looking to watch videos, they have a watch area where you can watch Eyewitness testimonies. You can search for them by topic. You can look specifically for locations such as Auschwitz. You can specifically look for areas. They also have things such as civil rights, topics such as children, daily life. You can look at Hitler youth, fear, identity, all of those types of areas and things. They plan to increase, if I am not mistaken, they plan to increase their testimonies looking at Holocaust of all types. You can view the full testimonies. And then the other nice thing about this is they also have related activities. And when you click on the related activities, you're going to be able to see the activities that have been created by students and teachers all across the U.S., everywhere. And you can see activities, videos, editing, work that has been done by others. You can also see graphic organizers and all different types of ideas, related terms, and all different types of materials that they have created for both teachers, educators, and librarians in the field to be able to use with eyewitness. If you go to activities, you're going to be able to see and browse through the full library of all the different materials by subject area, author, as well as the Common Core, ISTE, um, and all the other different types of standards that are being addressed in their particular site. But if you go to About, you're also going to be able to find out about Eyewitness. And if you register, and it is completely free, you can find out who can join. It's meant for educators, with students. Um, if you're neither an educator or student, they'll tell you about that. But if you register, you have the ability, and you can go back here to About, you can actually, as a registered member, and it's completely free, students and teachers can view videos, the testimonies, the narratives by those who survived the Holocaust. You actually can build your own video projects using the Eyewitness built-in online video editor, which is amazing. You can search for video testimonies and photos, which you can add to your own projects. Then there's also a built-in encyclopedia and glossary. And then you can also learn multimedia skills, digital skills, and work with those skills as well. You have teacher support here with Eyewitness. You have secure student link. You have student-centered learning, as well as all different types of educational standards that are being addressed just in case you need to make sure to show how those are being covered. Easy to use site, a site that is very user friendly, lots of ideas. It has a very specific focus, but when it comes to literature, social studies, history, an amazing site to be used with such a wealth of information for such a time in our history that cannot be forgotten. An amazing wealth of material that I wanted to make sure that needed to be shared. So thank you so much for listening. Keep an eye on Tech 15. We'll have more videos soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day.